Hi class, I want to talk to you about monohybrid crosses today and a little about dihybrid crosses and some other um, unique offspring possibilities that can be created by mom's eggs that are provided possibilities and dad's possible sperm alleles that come into play, okay? So if you, let's just take eye color, uh, it's a very simplified eye color cross where you would have mom having brown eyes and she would be heterozygous for brown, okay? And uh, mom can go on the top of the square or dad can go on the top, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so then it, you, on dad on the side, let's make him have blue eyes. He's going to be homozygous recessive for blue eyes, so he would be little b, little b. And then you make a square, say monohybrid, test cross. We used to call them Punnett squares, but they call them test crosses now. Okay, so at the top, always you make them go down. So we got big B in this square, and then dad on the side comes into this little B. And then you have little B from mom, little B from dad. Then you have big B from mom, little B from dad coming on the side. And then you have little B, little B down here. So the possible offspring is 50-50. It would be 50% uh, brown eyed possibility. Um, and then, or big B, little B, because we're talking about phenotype here. And then little B, little B would be also 50%. You can also say that it's a one to one relationship, a one to one ratio phenotypic. It's also um, one to one genotypic ratio as well, where it would be the actual expression. So the, the phenotype would be the brown versus black. So we're gonna say one to one phenotypic ratio, brown eyes versus blue eyes. The genotypic ratio is the actual letters. 50% big B, little b, 50% little b, little b. Um, I don't wanna make that confusing. So again, it's the, the letters are going to be the genotype expression, genotypic, and the uh, words to express what that trait is, is the phenotypic expression. And sometimes they can be different with what your answers are. Um, I have brown eyes and my husband has blue eyes and I didn't know what I, we, our children were gonna have. And so I have one, I have a son who has brown eyes and uh, my daughter has blue. She got my husband's blue. So it turns out that I must have a recessive in there somewhere, even though I have um, very dark brown eyes and so do my parents. Okay, stay tuned to my next video for dihybrid cross and other.